Hi all, this is a quick video to show you the differences in functionality in the new beta version of Auction Vista. Now the main change in functionality relates to the large trade circles. The circles themselves are self-tuning, which means they will automatically work on any market without you needing to set any size limits. Now that's fine, but it does tend to produce more circles on thinner markets, and to counter that, we put in a circle tuner. A value of 1 is the most sensitive for thicker markets, and higher values make it less sensitive for thinner markets. As you can see, when we move it from a value of 1 to 2, some of the less significant circles disappear. On markets like crude and DAX, you'll find a setting of 3 will work really well. On thicker markets like the S&P 500 futures or treasuries, then a setting of 1 is suitable, unless of course that market is thinned out. Now, as we know, the ES goes through periods of higher and lower liquidity, so when liquidity does reduce, you might want to put in a slightly higher value. Now, note that the circles are not lost permanently when we move to a less sensitive setting, and if we go back down to a setting of 1, the circles will reappear. We've also made a change to prevent any circles from being generated in the first three minutes after the market opens. With markets that trade almost 24 hours, like the ES, we tend to see much higher liquidity and much higher volume of trade coming into the market at 9.30 a.m. So if you have your session template set up so that a new session starts at 9.30 a.m., the circle tune will recognize that this is a new session. Liquidity will have changed and it will take that into account when creating new circles. To do that, it first needs a few minutes of data from the new session to evaluate what is exceptional trade size at a level. We've also made changes to the zooming when scrolled. So if you scroll back, it will now zoom in around the center of the chart. So let's just do and zoom out around the center of the chart. What it was doing before, when you zoomed in and zoomed out, it would actually go to the right hand side of the chart. Now, there's also a number of bugs fixed, so please check the beta forum for a complete list. The next beta release will give us the ability to separate the auction vista chart from the depth and sales. Following that, we'll work on the settings, and we expect the beta to continue for another four or five weeks. So, thank you all for participating.